Welcome back to the Good to Buy channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and let's get straight into the Ethereum charts today. This right here is the 12 hour Ethereum chart. And obviously, if you're looking at the price of Ethereum or the parabolic stopper inverse indicator, right now we are simply sitting in a bullish trend. But we cannot forget about this bearish divergence that is forming right now. And for any of the beginners out there, a bearish divergence basically means that this bullish trend is beginning to lose some of that bullish momentum, which is one of the reasons why just recently, over the past few days, we've seen a lot of sideways price action rather than a lot of bullish price action like what we were seeing just a few weeks ago. And another reason why we have seen a lot of sideways price action recently is if you're looking in the 12 hour Ethereum MACD, specifically the histogram, it is almost flat, meaning that we're seeing a lack of momentum. And when you zoom out to the daily Ethereum charts, Ethereum is still finding resistance along this golden pocket, sitting in between around three and a half thousand, going up towards around 3.6k. And that same bearish divergence that I just talked about is also visible here on the daily time frame as well. And on top of that, if you're looking in the histogram within the MACD indicator on the daily Ethereum chart, at the time of recording this video, it is currently declining, meaning that we are approaching a bearish cross, but I want to make it clear that we have not seen the bearish cross just yet. So when you're talking about the somewhat shorter term, as in the day-to-day -day price action and looking at potentially the next couple weeks or so, based on the fact that this bullish trend is beginning to lose some of its bullish momentum, while the price of Ethereum is heading into a massive range of resistance, and at the same time, we're seeing that bearish divergence, honestly, I am leaning slightly more on the bearish side just in the shorter term here. But when you're talking about the larger trend on the chart, I'm still leaning more bullish for the larger trend because looking here on the three-day chart, we are still seeing this massive bullish reversal in the three-day Ethereum RSI and also in the three-day Ethereum MACD. Not to mention the fact that we are only just about five days away from seeing the next weekly candle close, which is currently on track to confirm this bullish cross in the weekly Ethereum MACD. But heading back to the three-day Ethereum chart, looking at the RSI, we are still within this deciding moment because we have not confirmed a breakout or a rejection from this RSI resistance level just yet. And I've actually started to notice some other crypto YouTubers only just now talking about this line of resistance. But of course, I'll still make sure to keep you updated on this chart every single day in these videos. But we do have another bullish signal for Ethereum's long-term future. This is not talking about the day-to-day -day price action. This is really talking about the multi-month-long trends in the market. And this chart right here shows us the total amount of Ethereum sitting on exchanges. And each one of these bars represents one day. And if you're looking at over the past three weeks approximately, we've seen a lot of Ethereum leave exchanges. In fact, over the past three weeks, we have seen around 845,000 Ethereum leave exchanges, which is equivalent to around 3 billion US dollars. So basically, we have seen nearly a billion dollars worth of Ethereum leave exchanges every single week for the last three weeks in a row. And usually when we see people move Ethereum off exchanges, that means they're not wanting to sell Ethereum because of course, if you want to sell Ethereum, you move it onto an exchange. So the fact that we are seeing nearly a billion dollars worth of Ethereum per week leave exchanges, this is clearly a bullish signal for Ethereum's long-term future, showing that a lot of accumulation is happening. And just giving you a quick update on the Bitcoin dominance chart on the daily timeframe, we are still running into this level of support, sitting at approximately 41.3% Bitcoin dominance. Yesterday, we did end up seeing a confirmed bout from that level of support, which actually confirms this as support. So basically, at the moment, while the Bitcoin dominance is finding support here, we're essentially at a pause within this altcoin season that we've seen over the past three weeks. And if we see a further bounce here in the Bitcoin dominance, then that would actually be bearish for the altcoins compared to Bitcoin. So right now, this altcoin season is potentially at a turning point if we do not break this line of support soon. And as always, if you want to get real-time updates on the crypto market and extra altcoin signals from time to time, then make sure to follow me over on my Twitter and the link to my only official Twitter account is in the description down below and also in the pinned comment. But anyway, if you got anything of value out of this video, please make sure to leave a like down below and if you're new to the channel, you might as well subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. And before we click off, if you want to continue to make more profit in crypto, whether or not prices are going up, down or sideways, then these two videos popping up right here on your screen are definitely made for you. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.